Technical Veterinary Learning TVL Channel Honored by Professor Ahmed Mamdouh Sharif, Professor of Epidemiology and Infectious Diseases The Ex-Head of Department of Veterinary Medicine The Ex-Vice Dean of Faculty of Veterinary Medicine Benesweif University Presents today to all specialists, veterinarians and veterinary students all over the world the following important disease for both animal and man. Infectious vesicular stomatitis, IVS. Vesicular stomatitis is an infectious disease affecting the following animals. Equines, cattle, South American camelidae or lama lama, and the swine. Infectious vesicular stomatitis characterized by clinical presentation of vesicular formation at the mouse, coronary bands, interdigital skin of affected animals food, either for equines, swine, lama lama, and in cattle it is identical to food and mouse disease. Infectious vesicular stomatitis has a great zoonotic importance as the following. Infectious vesicular stomatitis has a great zoonotic disease where humans can also become infected and this disease producing influenza, novel corona-like symptoms with presence of vesicles and ulcers at mucous membrane of the mouth and nose. Infectious vesicular stomatitis disease has an impact on the economic of any country his animals become infected, as it causes the following increased culling of infected and diseased animals, reduced milk production of dairy cattle and buffaloes, increased mortality in equines and ruminants, the labor, medicine, and veterinary costs are increased as well as social panic attack to human community from novel corona attack. Epidemiology of infectious vesicular stomatitis Infectious vesicular stomatitis history At 1915 and 1917, first outbreak reported in France when they shipping horses from United States of America. At 1927, the cost of viruses was discovered. At 1915, the first zoonotic human infectious was recorded, although the exact etiology was not known until 1927. Vesicular stomatitis symptoms was first noted in horses as a sore tongue. In civil war in United States, at 1862, 4,000 horses were disabled with a disease resembling to vesicular stomatitis. There are about four outbreaks. The first one occurred in Canada at 1944 in New Mexico and Colorado with Texas states at 1998 and then at 2004 it reported in 19 horses and cattle premises in Texas, then spread to Texas, New Mexico, and Colorado. At January 1999, also cases were reported in equines and humans. So we have to take that this disease is of zoonotic importance and affect more than one species. So it is a great economical defective disease. Pathogenic risk factor for infectious vesicular stomatitis. Virus classification of pathogenic risk factor of infectious vesicular stomatitis. It is a virus of Rilam riboviria, phylum Negarno viricota. Class Monogyristes, Order Monoigivirales, Family Rabidoviridae, 
genus vesiculovirus and the species is Indiana vesiculovirus. It is a prototypic member. It have some synonyms such as vesicular stomatitis indiana virus and vesicular stomatitis virus. Vesicular stomatitis virus is bolt shape RNA virus. It's found only in western hemisphere. There are many different types found around the world, but the New Jersey and the Indiana types predominate in the Americas. This vesicular disease can cause lesions in mouth and feet of wide range of animal, but it primarily affects horses, donkeys, cattle, swine, and South American camelidae. Sheep and goat are resistant to vesicular stomatitis and rarely show clinical signs. Humans can also become infected, producing influenza and corona novel like symptoms. This is a clinical signs almost identical to foot and mouth disease in large. Prominence. Indiana vesiculovirus, formerly vesicular stomatitis virus, take a polyp like shape. Indiana vesiculovirus, formerly vesicular stomatitis virus, is RNA virus. This picture of the Indiana vesiculovirus under electron microscope is taken directly from affected tissues. Indiana vesiculovirus, it is a prototypic member of genus vesiculovirus family Rabidoviridae. It is an arbovirus and its replication occurs in the cytoplasm of infected tissues. The genome is on a single molecule of negative sense RNA that has 11, 161 nucleotides in its length. Infectious vesicular stomatitis has the following genome in codes. There are five major proteins. G protein, large protein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, and nucleoprotein. These five proteins are very important during the multiplication and the pathogenesis of the virus inside infected cells. Resistance of Indiana vesiculovirus to physical and chemical action. Temperature. This virus is activated by 58 disintegrate for 30 minutes. The survival. Inactivated by sunlight and it survives for long period at low temperature. Indiana vesiculovirus was found to be sensitive to the following materials formaldehyde, ether and other organic solvents, chlorine dioxide, 1% of formalin, 1% of sodium hypochlorite, 70% of alcohol, 2% of glutaraldehyde, 2% of sodium carbonate, 4% of sodium hydroxide and 2% of iodophore disinfectants. So all latter chemicals could be used as an effective disinfectant of this virus so it can be used to make hygienic disposal and hygienic disinfectants of partners and farmers infected by this virus after evacuation of the infected animals. Distribution of infectious vesicular stomatitis disease. This disease is present only in western part of the world, at north, central, and north south of America. Vesicular stomatitis in western hemisphere disease that is indigenous in north and central America and the northern part of South America. Outbreaks tend to occur in the warmer region around riverways and valleys, but occasionally occur in more temperate region. The United States Southwest has expressed outbreak during warmer months. The southeast of the United States has an enzootic cycle in which the virus has been isolated in sand fly. 
Infectious vesicular stomatitis occasionally present in the temperate region of the western atmosphere. The map of infectious vesicular stomatitis distribution during the period of January up to June 2019 throughout the world explained that there is no information about the presence of this disease anywhere in the earth. According to the OIE office, the map of 2018 from January up to June, there is no information about the presence of infectious vesicular stomatitis all over the world. During the period from July up to December 2018, OIE report there is no information about the presence of this disease anywhere or any country all over the world. Animal risk factors of infectious vesicular stomatitis Infectious vesicular stomatitis affect on equines, cattle, South American camelides, and swine. Transmission of the disease Natural infections with Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus is composed two steps. Number one, cytolytic infections. This occur to all mammalian hosts. Number two, non-cytolytic infections. And this occur to insects that transmit the disease to all mammalian hosts. Animal transmission. Vectors that transmit Indiana stomatitis virus are the followings. Number A, fruit bean sand fly or sand fly, where the trans ovarian transmission of the virus from one generation to another make continuation of the infection in the same area, except if we have safe disposal of them to get rid of the disease in this place. Number B of these vectors are black flies, where also trans ovarian transmission through the multiple generation of them make continuity of the infection. So, in the places where infectious vesicular stomatitis are present, we have to have hygienic disposal and safe disposal of the virus through safe disposal of these vectors. Infectious vesicular stomatitis disease also transmitted through direct contact between number A infected animals through their saliva exudates epithelium shredding of open vesicles to the sound one or through P contaminated objects is also effective which is often the reason for spreading in concentrated animal population through feeding and water or milk uh, machines. As we said before, infectious vesicular stomatitis that caused by Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus have a zoonotic impact, so human transmission will occur through the followings. Number one, contact with infected tissues, fluids from lesions and saliva of infected animals or infected human. Number two, vector bites of an infected sand fly or black flies. Number three, aerosol transmission in the laboratory setting will lead to contract the infection. This diagram explains the animal and the human transmission of Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus. Number one, there is the domesticate, non domesticated animals as giraffe, gazelle, rats, and pets, where sand flies, mosquitoes, and locusts transmit 
the virus from the domesticated one and from human to them and then contract again the infection from them there is trans ovarian transmission of the virus through different generation of these mosquitoes sans flies and locusts they transmit the virus to the equine and to the cattle and to the swine and from them through different excretions saliva or through the insects themselves to the human as appear in this diagram sources of infection sources of infection of infectious vesicular stomatitis are or secretions and excretions of infected animals contaminated water and food and infected vectors through different generations molecular pathogenesis of infectious vesicular stomatitis the incubation period of this disease is about two to seven days by means that from the entrance of the virus until the appearance of clinical symptoms we have about two to seven days for beginning to explain the molecular pathogenesis of infectious vesicular stomatitis we have to remember that the genome of the virus encodes five major proteins G protein, large protein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, and nucleoprotein. The schematic diagram of Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus we note here messenger RNA and RNA nucleotide and the M protein or matrix protein, the P protein or phosphoprotein, the N protein or nucleoprotein, and the G protein, and all of them will make and assist themselves to produce the variants. Indiana vesiculovirus stomatitis by insect vectors or through contaminated food and water troughs will enter to the equine, cattle, South American, South American camelidae and swine cells. So, G protein will enable the viral entry. Also, it mediates viral attachment to an LDL receptor or low density lipoprotein receptors family member that presents on the host cells following binding infectious vesicular stomatitis virus or the indiana vesicular stomatitis virus lipoprotein receptor complex rapidly endocytosed so the virus become inside the cell this diagram explain how the endocytosis of the virus after attachment to the LDL receptors enter inside the cell where endosomes and messenger RNA of the virus become and upright the nucleus of the host cells. After endocytosis of the virus, fusion of the viral envelope with endosomal membrane will occur where Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus enter the cell through partially clarithene coated vesicles. Virus containing vesicles has more clarithene and the clarithene adapter than conventional vesicles. Virus containing vesicles recruit compound of the actin machinery for their interaction thus inducing its own uptake. Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus G protein does not follow the same path as most vesicles because transportation of the G protein from the endoplasmic reticulum to the plasma membrane is interrupted by incubation at 15 decentigrade. This chart explains how clarithene dependent endocytosis where the receptors that present in the cells 
cell membrane where formation of clarithene coated vesicles and then clarithene become separated from the receptors after entrance to the cell where uncoating occur and early endosomes were be noted. Under this condition, the molecules accumulate in both the endoreticulum and subcellular vesicles. Fraction of low density called the lipid rich vesical fraction or LRVF. The material N, lipid rich vesical fraction, appear to be post endosomal intermediate in the transport process of the plasma membrane. Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus G gene is expressed and translated into rough endoplasmic reticulum where the glucose mannose and the glucose sodium chloride oligosaccharide is added by dolicol containing protein. It is an NXF motif on Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus G protein. Sugars here are removed gradually as protein travels to the Golgi apparatus and it becomes resistant to into gluconidase H. Envelope glycoprotein of Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus G protein, who is sensitized in polarized epithelial cells, is targeted to the basolateral basal membrane. Indiana Vesicular stomatitis virus G protein is also a common code protein of lentiviral vector expression system used to introduce genetic material into the vitro system or animal models. The Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus L protein or the large protein is encoded by half the genome and combined with phosphor protein to catalyze replication of the messenger RNA. Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus M protein or the matrix protein is encoded by N messenger RNA that is 831 nucleotides long and translate to 229 amino acid proteins. Predicted matrix protein sequences does not contain any long hydrophilic or nonpolar domain that might promote membrane association. The matrix protein is rich in the basic amino acids and contain highly basic amino terminal domain. Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus, N protein or the nucleoprotein is required to initiate genome senses. Viremia beginning from few hours to two days post infection after all the replication and the, all the last process is okay. This chart explain in a simple way the building of endocytic vesicle, where here the clarithene, actin, and domain, and the recycling endosomes and early endosomes. This chart explains the transfection and the transduction of the virus, where here. In the first group, the vector breaking, where the nucleus make producing cells of new Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus, where when it enters the cells of uh, the host, it will lose the envelope and beginning to producing cells and then come out as ribosomal vesicular stomatitis virus pseudotype where transduction through attachment to the receptor of the targeted cell become okay. All explained later processes of viral lubrication will occur in the oral mucosa and the coronary bands of infected animals or human. The clinical signs appear as vesicular eruption that it changed into vesicular rupture and then, when the basal membrane are loosed, there is erosions and ulcers were present. Unfortunately, secondary bacterial infection invasion will occur. 
This chart is the summary of multiplication and replication of the Indiana vesicular stomatitis virus in susceptible tissue cells, where attachment here of the virus, then endocytosis, and then lose the envelope, and then Z, G protein, L protein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, nucleoprotein are appear here, where they with messenger RNA become using of the nucleus of the host cell to produce viral protein transportation for production of more viruses and aggressiveness of the sciences of the disease. Morbidity of infectious vesicular stomatitis ranged between 5 to 80 percent, 5 in enzootic areas and 80 percent in epizootic areas. This variable with conditions and sporadic infection in 5 to 10 percent of the herds. Mortality of infectious vesicular stomatitis is low and less than 5%. Death reported in young calves, not common as food and mouse disease. This is the end of the first part of infectious vesicular stomatitis disease. We speak here about the disease, economical impact, zoonotic impact, and in the epidemiology, we're speaking about the history of the disease and the pathogenic risk factor, distribution of the disease all over the world, animal risk factors, transmission to animals and human, and then sources of the infection. We speak about morbidity, mortality, and the multiplication inside the cells and outside the cells as molecular pathogenesis. In the second part, we'll continue to speak about the rest of the disease as clinical science, post-mortem examination, laboratory examination, prevention and control, and non-specific treatment of this disease. Please subscribe the channel to reach to the newly videos.